This is another video in the First Read series where I read a poem for the first time by a poet. I don't know or I know very little about, so I don't read it with their entire work, so I don't have those interpretive tools with me. So I might me completely misread it, so maybe, or maybe not, this is worthwhile. But it's the sheer joy. That's why I got to poetry in the first place, just to have the sheer joy of reading someone. So this one is from uh, Bird Feast magazine. Nicole Lachat, who I don't know at all. There's a little bit of information about her on the on the page as it is. I know nothing about her. I knew bird. I know a little bit about Bird Feast, which is you know as a as a online journal, it tends to be story based. So fairly, what I what I would say is more traditional poetry, free verse, um, with a narrative. So maybe this confirms that. Maybe not. Before my birth. I always look at the form when I look at something. This one, the, the lines are different lengths here. Um, live, tall, always tall, mother. So I don't see rhyme. I don't see traditional uh, poetic form. So I'm just going to read this as a free verse one. I should count the lines though. The woman, the woman that is my mother lived. Okay, there's uh, nine syllables. As a counterfeit reflection, a spec in the hallways. Okay, that's 15 syllables. All right, so I'm going to assume I was right. Free verse. Go with that. Maybe I'll change my mind as I read. The woman that is my mother lived. So this is back in time before my birth. So the person who is my mother, this is how she lived. Lived is a counterfeit reflection. This is a counterfeit reflection. So not a real reflection, but some kind of counterfeit of a reflection. A specter in the hallways of the building she cleaned. So my mother was not living as a as a person necessarily in this period, as a ghost in the hallways haunting the buildings, not a real person, just a cleaner at this point. Inside a sky rise, so tall, the night sky. There's a lot of nice S sounds here. I like the alliteration that's being played with here. The night sky got caught in its mirrors. My young mother... So there's the M sounds there. So to all the night sky got caught in its mirrors, my young mother polished the cloud and stars. So my mother, she was young. This ghost inside the building is polishing the clouds and stars in this building. In a borrowed name, we don't know why she's got a borrowed name at this point. Maybe this is playing off the ghost image. Maybe she wasn't, wasn't illegal at the period, so she needed one. Nail fitting uniform, my mother, a steady shadow. There's a specter earlier again, so we have shadow here. A steady shadow, a quick apology, removed from glass, all evidence of life. So her mother is like this steady shadow, removing evidence of life um, with the borrowed name. Um, it's almost as if she doesn't exist and she's erasing um, the evidence of life in this high rise for these people. Smudges, dust, handprints, even her own face before dawn break broke. But this could play off the counterfeit reflection in the beginning. It's like cleaning it all off. At the end of the shift, she coil into the back seat of a night bus. This, you know, really so far as just telling the story of her mother's job being, uh, you know, not quite invisible, but a shadow in this building, cleaning off all aspects of life under a fake name. And then she gets in the bus and she, you know, goes back from work. Runs her hand over the sweat at her nape. Trace the strands of darkness whisked there. The strands of darkness whisked there, you know, this, this could be her hair. Um, this could be something more metaphoric than that. And when she was sure no one was listening, she untuck her name from behind her teeth just to affirm it was still there. This kind of repeating to herself who she was to make sure it's not been lost in this kind of new space she's in and this, in this job she's in where she's erasing life over and over and over. That's what she has to do. So a fairly straightforward narrative poem. It's an interesting story um, in itself about the mother. And I feel like this would be good as a, as good as a part of a series um, about her mother, perhaps about herself in relation to this. So interesting, interesting little poem worthwhile to, uh, to read in particular potentially look to see more by Nicole, here it is her name, Nicole Lachat, um, a Canadian writer. All right. Nice little point.